Hi, I'm Karmisha Mas, I'm your astrologer. Today I will talk about Tuesday, the 30th of uh, July. The moon is in Gemini, a beautiful day. Enjoy it if you're, uh, everyone should enjoy this beautiful day, especially if you're Gemini, um, Libra and Aquarius. Uh, how is it going to be for all signs? Aries, uh, definitely this day is uh, can turn out to be very exciting, very rewarding, refreshing, uh, maybe a little bit, uh, um, maybe exhausting because of the great energy that you have. So try not to deplete all that beautiful energy. Enjoy. Taurus, uh, you have uh, all that you need to get things done, and maybe you will be, you will win something. Maybe if you're dealing, you're discussing something, negotiating a deal or whatever it is, or maybe you're just at home doing some uh, housework, uh, or um, uh, maybe some homework uh, for uni or whatever. This can be a beautiful day. Enjoy and try to keep your spirits up. Gemini, the moon in your sign gives you uh, a tremendous amount of beautiful energy, very, very, uh, very energetic, very inspiring and totally uh, astounding, meaning it's so, so amazing. Enjoy this beautiful day that will give you the green light to move forward in big, huge, big steps. Uh, probably you'll get some great news, but drive carefully, stay away from trouble. If you were born on the 26th, 27th, 28th of May, that's uh, Mars. You can be very lucky if you were born on the 5th or 6th of, of the 5th or the 6th of June. That's Jupiter. Cancer, it can be a slow day, so take things slowly, take them as they come. Don't uh, uh, don't exaggerate things, just let it be, flow with it, and wait till the moon reaches uh, your sign on Thursday uh, to get things done. So what you have to do is wrap the month up in a, in a very quiet, very logical manner, uh, and uh, definitely you need to double check on all your plans, especially if you're traveling, whatever it is, uh, in order to avoid avoid any delays or disappointments. Leo, I like uh, this day because it seems that it brings out the best in you. Uh, there's a great aura around you, beautiful, very charming, very attractive. So don't feel surprised. Don't be surprised if people flock around you wherever you go, wherever you move. So this is a very nice day to show how great you are, how humanitarian you are, how helpful you are. Enjoy. Virgo, it is a complicated day. It can be a little bit annoying or disturbing. Just try to stay away from trouble and don't get in a conflict. This is not an, an easy day to work things out. So try to be as calm as possible. Libra, it is a happy day. It helps you uh, to uh, to get to secure something, to get a deal done, to secure a, a position or to go and have a beautiful, successful and uh, very promising uh, interview. It is a very nice and beautiful day. There's a great trine between your sign, the moon and also Pluto from Aquarius. So this means great luck. As for, uh, as for Scorpio, Scorpio, this is a good day. Uh, it will help you get things done. Maybe there were some problems um, Sunday and Monday. So today is a day to sort this out and to discuss things and to be transparent about everything and resolve some issues. Sagittarius, it is a very strong day. It is powerful. Just try to control your energy, which is really great and empowering, over empowering. So try to be as smooth as possible to avoid uh, getting in confrontations. Capricorn, it is a long busy day. It will help you. Actually, this great energy will help you multitask, but try to stay away from trouble. There's no need to get into a strong uh, or maybe, uh, let's say, uh, annoying situations. So try to be flexible and diplomatic. Moving to Aquarius. Aquarius, you will love this beautiful day. It's helpful. It's fun. It's entertaining and it's, uh, it uplifts your mood. So this is a great day to negotiate and uh, to have whatever you really want to have and discuss and achieve. Moving to Pisces, try to be as helpful as possible, especially with your loved ones. You need to pamper yourself, enjoy a beautiful day and have fun. So don't complicate things.
Uh, let's wrap it up with born on the 29th and then born on the 30th. If you were born on the 29th of July, this should be a very interesting year, very empowering. Uh, probably you'll have uh, some projects, big projects related to some real estate or maybe some family issues. This is a great year to show how um, your great expertise at work professionally and also socially. This is a great year to show how great you are with your work, with your potential. Some issues related to family may also appear during this year, but basically, astrologically, it is very successful. Born on the 30th of July, this is a very helpful year. It helps you to move in big steps, uh, professionally, socially, and also um, uh, family-wise, personally. This is a great year to show how helpful you are, how great at teamwork, and definitely it will bring out the best of you. Make sure that you are in the right circle because this year is totally promising. Wishing you all the best. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.